In the fantastical shared world of Sea of Thieves, the freedom of the pirate life awaits as players embark on their own epic multiplayer adventures. Our catchily titled Update 0.1 signals the start of the Sea of Thieves technical alpha phase, and with it, some lucky players from our Insider program will get to experience the thrill of the hunt as they sail the seas in search of hidden gold. Few things stoke the fire in a pirate's dark heart like buried treasure. In Update 0.1, there could be riches hidden beneath the sands of any island out there on the open sea. But all great adventures begin with a promise. And that's where our maps come in. When you embark on a treasure quest in this update of the game, you'll have a map to get you sailing in the right direction. In this case, a classic X marks the spot style map. You and your crew will be relying on this map, first to pinpoint the island, then to dig up the treasure. Making this a little bit easier is the map table on your ship. This gives you a wider view of the many islands you can travel to, and your ship's position on the sea. By comparing the islands on both maps like some kind of ingenious pirate detective, you can plot a course and get your treasure hunt underway. Ideally, at some point you'll make it to the right island and face one more test of your crew's cartographic skills to track down the buried stash. There won't really be a giant red X in the sand, so you'll have to use the island's landmarks to find your way. Just like birthday celebrations and riding a seesaw, digging for treasure is much more fun with someone else. And the more of you who help to dig, the faster you'll uncover the bounty. But that's only half the voyage. For the real reward, you need to get the chest back to an outpost and cash it in. So while one pirate hauls the treasure, the others should escort them back to the ship, watching for any sly rivals who would love to score some treasure the easy way. Back on the ship, it's up to you to find a good hiding place for your precious cargo. There's still a chance that some enterprising sea dog will sneak on board and snatch it, but don't make it easy for them. Of course, the seas can be treacherous, and your crew will have to work together to reach a safe haven, fending off rival crews if they get too close. This could be a chance to test your blunderbuss or pistol by boarding their ship to engage in a friendly exchange of ideas. If that doesn't go to plan, you'll be taking a trip to the Ferry of the Damned because, well, you'll be dead. But don't worry too much. If you and your fellow lost souls ask the captain nicely, he might escort you back to the real world and you'll be back in action. So what happens if your whole ship goes down? Well, as luck would have it, some friendly mermaids will be on hand to rescue you and your crew. Because that's what mermaids do, apparently. If, after all this, you eventually get back to an outpost with your ill-gotten gains, head to the shipwright who'll happily exchange it for gold. Well, maybe not happily, but she will exchange it. One quest well and truly smashed. This is just a first glimpse of what's to come in Sea of Thieves, and we look forward to showing you more as we set sail through our technical alpha phase and beyond. Cheers!